Cameron had no idea. He was one of those um, undecided majors, had no idea what he wanted to do. And he sat down with his advisor and had a list of classes that he thought he was going to take. And they said, well, you know, you need a language requirement. And the advisor said, you know, we have a really great Russian program here. We have a, a department chair who's young and vibrant. Um, would that interest you at all? And he said, well, you know, I'm kind of a history guy and I, and I like, and I, you know, I could see studying Russian. So he said, yeah, sure. I'll try Russian. So five days a week, 8.30 class, missed yeah. it once. His um, freshman year. freshman year. And here he is four years later with a double major in, in history and Russian. And, and so, is the most proficient Russian, non, non-Russian, Russian speaking student. That in you have school. on this campus right now. I guess the other thing would be, I didn't, we didn't really understand the magnitude of uh, the music program because he wasn't a music major, but we knew he wanted to continue his interest in music. And, and I think it was a, a great experience for him to participate on such a professional level, but not be a dedicated musician. Bjork was a huge mm -hmm. part of his life mm -hmm. here, going there, loving, loving the experience up there. Something that wasn't really on the horizon when, when he came here. He didn't think, oh, I want to come here because I can go to Bjork Linden. But going to Bjork mm -hmm. Linden was, became a, a crucial part of his time to the point where in his this senior year, it was incredibly important for him to make that timing work. Yeah. As mom sitting here watching my son getting ready to launch to the next phase of his life, he it, he's ready and i can't, i just can't wait to see where he lands and what he does